Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and today I wanted to talk about our homeschool routine. So I have a fourth grader, and this year we are doing a couple of things out of the house, but the majority of our um, core curriculum is done in the house. So here's what our routine looks like and about how many hours um, a day and a week we spend on school. Um, so we get started and we do a start in the mornings. Um, 8.30 is when we get started. Uh, we keep the morning routine because I do work uh, full time, but from home. And so I clock in at about noon and then work into the evening. Um, and so we do have school time designated in the morning. So we get started at 8.30. The first thing we do is we cover our flashcards, our morning work. Um, our morning work consists of flashcards and grammar um, and maybe a couple of other little things that we're learning for fun. Um, so we start with that. Um, that usually takes um, 30 to 45 minutes um, just because we kind of move slow. There's no rush. Um, my learner might be eating breakfast during that time as well. On Mondays and Wednesdays, my learner goes to a group um, that uh, has homeschool classes. They do their extracurriculars. So there's a PE and then there's art and there's Lego robotics. Um, so those are things that we do on Mondays and Wednesdays. So Mondays and Wednesdays after we do morning work, if we have a little bit of extra time, we read, either read some from our history um, books or our uh, language arts, language arts books. Um, but then my kid gets ready and they go to those classes. On Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, however, after we do morning work, we jump into our curriculum. So we do at home language arts and then either history or science, depending upon the day. Um, Two days a week, we do history. Uh, one day a week with me, we do science. And then on the weekends, um, uh, my learner does science with dad as well. So uh, we do language arts. That usually takes, we usually spend about an hour on language arts. So that involves reading um, and also working through whatever activities that are going along with that. Um, we um, choose from a variety of um, language arts curriculum. And uh, so we're just going by whatever, uh, we, we choose what book, my learner chooses which book they want to do, and then we do whatever curriculum goes along with that. So we do language arts for about an hour, and then we do history or science for about another hour. For history, that looks like a lot of reading, um, being read to, and some discussions around that, a little bit of taking notes. Uh, for science, there's usually less reading, watching some videos, and then doing a hands-on experiment or activity. We wrap up with all of those things um, by 11.30 in the morning. So roughly we have a little bit less than an hour for our morning work, um, an hour for language arts, and an hour or a little bit more for history or science. Um, so those are Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, Monday, Wednesday. After morning work, my learner leaves and comes back about 12.30. Um, we do lunch after we finish our school on either day. We do lunch. My learner has free time. Um, in the afternoon, starting around 3.30, my learner has independent work that is on the tablet. Um, so that is teaching textbooks where um, my learner does math every day, um, Spanish from uh, Rosetta Stone, and then also we're doing Night Zookeeper for writing practice um, this year. So in the afternoons, um, three days a week, my learner does all three of those. Um, every day a week, my learner does math. So um, then there, that takes um, up to an hour, depending upon the content and how things are going. It can go a little bit more than that, especially if they're writing a lot for the night zookeeper, or if there's a newer concept with math, um, might take them a little bit longer. But all of those independent work activities usually take about an hour, usually from about 3.30 to 
about that time, dad's getting home. So my learner and dad do some exercise or some hands-on projects or whatever kind of cool bonding stuff that they want to do in the evenings. I'm usually working at that time. Um, and then after that, dinner and uh, free time and evening routine. So our, um, I mentioned that on the weekends, then um, my learner does do science with dad on Saturdays, and that's maybe an hour tops. So total, we have Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, that are three hours each. And then on um, Saturday, another hour. So that's 13 hours. Um, and if we don't count the stuff that my kid does outside of the home, then maybe another hour or two um, that we do morning work on those days. So about 15 hours a week is what um, is required from the parent uh, to direct the learning. And then because my learner is fourth grade, there are some things that they are independent with. And so there are some activities that they do in the afternoon online completely independently. Um, and I would say that maybe that would add up to another four hours at most. So less than 20 hours a week is our official academic time. If you count the extracurriculars, then that's an additional four hours a week. Um, but those are, like I said, extracurriculars. They're fun. They're bonus. My kid barely even considers them school because they are all very hands-on and that's great. So um, let me know your routines, your schedules, how long you're spending, but I just wanted to put that out there as an example of what that looks like, and especially for families that might be balancing um, work and homeschool, um, that is something that has worked for us, and uh, we're able to uh, provide that as an example. So thanks.